inside of two weeks to South by Southwest. Uh, yeah, I'm actually shirtless right now. I'm not shirtless to show off my chest the way that my mentor, Aaron Patzer, uh, founder of Mint is. I'm shirtless because it makes me uncomfortable, as South by Southwest is probably gonna make you uncomfortable as well. Here are some ways to transition from a person who's an outsider, first-timer, to a person who's an insider, who works. This is the focus of this video. I want you to work South by Southwest as if not it's your first time, but as if your first time is your second time. So you don't really, and this parallels, you don't really wanna do your first startup as your first startup, because first startups fail. You wanna have your first startup be your second startup, which is why we are all practicing entrepreneurship. Here's some things that I know about South by Southwest to help you make the transition from newbie first timer to veteran increasing your likelihood of success. One, how do you RSVP for events? Don't outsource RSVPing for events. You want to do that yourself because you want to curate and wedge into the best events ever. As a man, I don't let people who are less than me boss me around and make decisions for me. I let my mentors do that. Aaron Patcher is my shirtless mentor. Mark McCormick's my how to get home field on the road mentor. Uh, Robert Black's my supermodel mentor. So all these mentors help. Getting back to RSVPing, you wanna RSVP for yourself. So let's say you're watching this video late and let's say you're already there. One, or tip number two A, RSVP using WordPress where you write a minimum viable blog post about that party. If you are a venture capital firm and you host a party, nobody blogs about it, nobody takes pictures, and if it doesn't get reported in the Wall Street Journal or Kara Swisher's Recode, written by Nellie Bowles or Kara Swisher herself, did your event even happen? If you wanna wedge in, two, point number 2A is RSVP using a WordPress blog post, okay? It's 12 sentences, it's two pictures, one focus. It's not Squarespace, it's WordPress. It's not Tumblr, even though I love David Karp and I got to hang out and meet him at South by Southwest. It's WordPress. And it's not because I'm friends with Matt Mullenweg that I need to get Matt like seven extra page views. It helps because you can Gmail alert a person like Patrick Chung from New Enterprise Associates to, to get into that event. 2B, you want to tweet and say thank you for and looking forward to your party because people who host parties, people that spend $35,000 for an official South by event or 40, they don't get anything for it. They don't get any SEO, search engine optimization, they don't get any recognition, they don't get press coverage. They just get a big bar bill for open bar serving drinks to people they don't even know. Tweet at them, hey, Brian underscore Wong from Vancouver, Hey, I'm looking forward to the hashtag uh, keep up all night or keep all night or keep Larry Chang, K-I-I-P. I don't remember what the hashtag is, but you should tweet it and CC me and CC Brian Wong. Be like, hey, I'm looking forward to your party. Link, I'm looking forward to your party. Tweet number two, hey, I'm looking forward to your party and now I'm linking to party coverage. A minimum viable blog post, 2C, is 12 sentences, two pictures, one focus. 12 sentences, two pictures, one focus. It's not 80 sentences. It's not zero pictures. It's 12 sentences, minimum viable blog post. There's a hashtag, MVBP. Minimum viable blog post, WordPress. 12 sentences, two pictures, one focus. That's how you RSVP. If you're hoping to get on Eventbrite or you're trying to do email to try to wedge in or you bought my list, which is actually sold out, the, the Larry Chang Best Entrepreneur Events of South by Southwest list, RSVP yourself and go from being a first timer that has never done it before to not. Three, if you're at the door, show up at the door early. If the party goes, 7 to 10 o'clock at the Four Seasons, 
uh, in the grand ballroom because an agency's hosting an event, why wouldn't you not show up at 655? I mean, my first South by, I wasn't getting paid $35,000 appearance fees to go plug a movie like Mr. Peabody. Plot spoiler, I'm not even in that movie. I'm just promoting it. Show up early. Two things. Uh, the, 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 all the things that you know at home, all the things I actually know about parties, just throw that out the window. Because the old way that people do is, oh, I'll show up an hour late because I'm so cool that I can't. I'm pretty cool, right? I show up five minutes before and I run the undertow, the secret society of events for entrepreneurship at South by Southwest. And afterwards, four, four B, five, whatever point I'm on. Bring a stack, bring a stack, bring a stack of thank you notes. Thank them, bef thank them before, tweet them looking forward to it, tweet them a link to your WordPress, thank them with a piece of paper afterwards, show up early. RSVP yourself. Uh, I love Eventbrite, okay, and that's just not because I'm friends with Kevin and Julia. And by the way, this isn't name dropping, okay? I don't know what town you're from. I don't, and I, I care, but I kind of don't. The town that I'm from, okay, that's not name dropping. That's me teasing you, okay? Teasing you for asking me to introduce you to them, okay? Like... It's not name dropping that my mentor is Mark McCormack. It's not name dropping that I'm in a George Clooney movie. It's not name drop, well, okay, I'm barely in one. In fact, it's not name dropping that um, I'm, uh, I study Mark McCormack's work. It's not name dropping that Paul Graham, I have an AP test for his essays. AP stands for Advanced Placement, and just like you can clep uh, college level entrance place out of most of your engineering classes or your MBA. Uh, that's what I'm doing at South By with a party because Paul Graham is too important to come to South By. But I'm representing him with a party that quizzes you, the potential entrepreneurs, on essays that he's already written. If you want to get into Y Combinator, I mean, it helps if you read. And that's why uh, if you're RSVPing for something, you read a little bit. You read about the event and you prepare a little, little bit. I've got three more strategies, but continuing on preparation and reading, there's a post that's in Harvard Business School, Harvest. It's called The Fifth Epiphany, okay? The old way was doing a book review where one person does one book review. The old way was one song plays, there's a stop, and then another song plays. Recently, there's been a concept of where you can DJ mash up three songs into one song. I'm kind of jealous, right, at South by Music, where some of these DJs can absolutely DJ a ton of music. And three songs? I can't do that. But I DJed five books into this thing called The Fifth Epiphany that transitions into... If you are there thinking about crashing parties, people that are hosting these parties, they're desperately wanting you, the person who has watched this video with a hashtag called CTCFTR, stands for crossing the chasm from the right. This video is meant to go super fast where you gotta sometimes pause, sometimes go back. CTCFTR is a hashtag and it's a keynote actually from 2017. Mr. Peabody is a dog, okay? It's kinda like this duck, but he's a dog. And he goes back and forth in time and gets genius knowledge. Mr. Peabody has a movie that launched on March 7th at the Waterloo Room because he's got a Napoleon hat and he, he, affects, he affects history. People that are hosting parties, they want the people that are going to affect history. Maybe they don't have a time machine, but there's a keynote from the future for South by Southwest because I did a book report on a book that hasn't been written yet. No, no, really, really. Crossing the Chasm is a book in 1991 written by Jeffrey Moore, okay? 
and it's a book that was written in 1991, and the chasm's really wide, okay? It's hard to jump from the left. But last, he even talks about uh, Evil Knievel with uh, the person who wrote the book, uh, the person who wrote the book, uh, David and Goliath, where, where Malcolm Gladwell talks about how Evil Knievel tried to jump the chasm, okay? But if you're jumping, why not have gravity work for you? Crossing a chasm from the right does that. So if you did cross a chasm from the right, which is a keynote from 2016, Googleable, that person who's hosting a party that you desperately want to get into, they want to know that gravity is working for you, not against you. I don't care where you're from, okay, but I went to this local community college in Palo Alto, I think they call it Palo Alto's Communities College, and they have all this knowledge that's totally free, okay? That's, I've archived it, okay, because I got to go for free. In fact, I actually financially benefited from having taught at this community college. Um, some of you guys might know it as Stanford. <laughs> I know, aren't I that guy? Seriously, I documented all the knowledge where I had to sit first chair entrepreneurship. In fact, sometimes when I would be uh, called on to guest lecture, okay, I would sit first chair entrepreneurship and share that keynote. So I'm the guy who studied Jeremiah Owing, who's also here, and him and I discovered the two-way moderated panel. And that's also the same thing as a two-way keynote. That's sort of from the future. That petered out a little bit because speakers didn't want to have a